oh, what if we miss the rapture? Have you? Would you? Could you miss the rapture? Let's talk about it today. So that is the question today. Would we? Could we? ever miss the rapture? Have we missed the rapture, the second coming of Jesus Christ? We're trying to figure that out. You know, the, there was a period of time when this was a very real question for a number of people, specifically those people in the city of Thessalon- Thessalonica, um, as Paul is writing to them, and he's assuring them that they're not going to miss it. Now, some people would reference uh, what Jesus said in Matthew 24 in uh, verse 40, where it says, uh, it's talking about the coming of the Son of Man, of Jesus, the second coming. And it says, then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. And it it leaves us without any context uh, with this concept of, oh my gosh, I I could be the one left. What if us who are here right now are the ones that are left? Or could it be that I would be the one left? But the whole context of what Jesus is saying there is he's saying, stay awake, stay aware, be aware of what's taking place. Be ready that Jesus could be coming back at any point now. So be ready. And I was left with even further more encouragement this morning as Paul was again writing to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. He says in verse 13, brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind so that your grief would look a little bit different and those people have no hope see those of us who are in jesus christ have hope that we are going to get to live and spend eternity with jesus it says in verse 14 for we believe that jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. All who have died in Christ will be risen again. I want to jump um, to verse 16. It says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, I love this, with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet call of, uh, uh, with a trumpet call of God and the dead will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we'll be with the Lord forever. Just listen to those words though, the loud command, the voice of the archangel, the trumpet of God. Friends, we can have assurance that we are not going to miss it. If you're in Jesus Christ, you're not going to miss it. So don't let that be an anxiety. Don't let that be a stress. Don't let that be a doubt. We get to be with Jesus forever because he paid the price so that we could be with him forever. I love you guys. We'll talk to you guys later.